What are those things on your face? Oh, they're called glasses. So, what is their purpose? Oh, they help us see. Oh, so it's something all humans are required to wear. No, not all humans. Some of us have worse eyesight than others. So, do the glasses correct your vision? No, sometimes if you use them for long enough, they make your eyes worse. Or at least that's the myth. What? Who came up with this idea? People who wanted money. So there's no way to correct your eyesight? Well, there's surgery. How do they correct your vision? Well, they use this laser. What is it with humans and lasers? It's not just us. Cats like them too. Yeah! Day 1024. The humans on our pit stop brought a few animals they called companions. The first one is small and furry with tiny claws that hurt a bunch. They hiss and spat and are honestly as terrifying as the Kufkar at home. Apparently, this animal, they call it a cat, has a much larger version. It is a mystery why and how humans tame these creatures. Human, are you all right? Uh, yeah, man, just having a bit of relapse, I forgot to take my meds for MS. Dear stars, what is MS that it causes you to lay on the ground like that? It's basically when my immune system attacked itself and now I can't feel pain or cold, but everything's sore and hot. What are you doing, Glorkin? I shall help you feel better, human companion! Human, what are you drinking? Hmm? Oh, just milk. So are you drinking the lactations of a female human? What? No, this is from a cow. Drinking another human's breast milk would be weird. So you find it weird to drink the lactation of other humans, but not animals. Oh, when you put it that way, it does sound weird. But it has high traces of calcium and strengthens our bones. I will never understand you, humans. Hey, sometimes we also make milk out of nuts. What? Human, what are you playing? Oh, it's a game called Yandere Simulator. It's about this girl who's trying to get close to her senpai, and you have to kill her enemies, basically. Wait, this is a game about a lunatic woman who commits murder so a man will fall in love with her? Yeah, basically. And this is a game you play for fun? Yeah. Why? I mean, sometimes you can do martial arts stuff. That's pretty cool, too. Hmm. Human, is that person being fashionable? Oh, no, he's just blind. What is blind? Well, you see, some people are born with disabilities, which means that they can't use certain parts of their bodies when they're born. Like how blind people can't see and how a crippled person can't walk. It really sucks, but we found some things to at least help them. Like a written language for blind people so they can read. Oh, I'm assuming humans are finding cures. <clears throat> hey, sure are, buddy. I feel like you are lying. Human, where did you get these scars? Were you attacked? <sighs> no. Then how did you get them? I made them. Why? Do all humans do this? No, only specific people do, but in different ways. But why? Honestly... Other people have different reasons. We don't know why we do them. I must find a cure for this! There is no cure for depression, buddy. What is depression? It's a mental illness that makes you really sad. And how do you catch this illness? A lot of ways. Are you feeling depressed? Yes. I shall cure your illness with food and entertainment! <laughs> Hillman, explain to me what this creature called Dragon is. Oh, dragons are huge beasts with the bodies of lizards, the head of snakes, huge horns, and big bat-like wings. Early human told stories of hunting and slaying dragons. Now they're lost to history. Hmm. Interesting. Of course, those are just legends. Yeah, where'd he go? Human, I have used genetic modification to bring back your missing dragon. Oh my god! Are you pleased? Human, we are under attack! Dude, chill. It's just a couple of kids setting off fireworks. Why are humans spawn playing with explosives? Why do you act like it is normal? Because they're pretty. Ugh. I beg your pardon. Human John? Yeah, what is it? Why is that human undressing and going in that steamy room? Uh, oh, it's a sauna. It's basically a very hot room. There are also some hot rocks in there, and you pour water on them, and the steam just flies in. It's mostly used to hang out with friends, to cure some illnesses, or to just test how long we can stay in there. Some Russians deal with plus 70 degrees Celsius, and always walk out all red and hot. But, eh, we can still get burnt, or just pass out there. 
So you're walking into literally an oven and sit there with a possibility of death? Yeah, pretty much. This species is fucked in the head. I would not be surprised if they put themselves in cages and stay with the sharks, or if they jump off mountains with bags on their backs. That's what some people do as a job and enjoy it. And the other one's a sport. <laughs> Human, what is this? I thought humans couldn't view other dimensions. Oh, no, this is something we make. Fascinating. And how do you make it? Well, we basically force ourselves to draw thousands of images of the exact same thing moment by moment. Wait, 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 wait. So you seesaw communication and ignore everything for hours? Only if you want a cartoon longer than three minutes. What colorful hell have you created? Oh, if we want characters to speak, we have to break our own speaking mechanisms inside a padded closet for hours in order to get one line for three seconds. What is this thing I looked up in your history called a catapult? It is a thing we use to fling objects at other people with. You fling your earth cats at other humans? What? No, that would be cruel. We use them to fling rocks at other people. What? And sometimes humans. How is that any better? Oh, no, I'm gonna die. What? What is wrong, human? Damn it, I died. Oh, hey, what's up? 